On Monday, I went to the races and back to work. It seemed like the logical thing to do. I had sat at home alone all day Sunday, feeling miserable, answering the hundreds of emails that kindly people had sent, and dealing with the fifty or so voice messages on my phones. How I wished Claire had left a message on Friday evening. Why hadn't I answered her call? By Monday morning, I'd been desperately in need of some human contact, but the thought of going back to my family in Oxted had filled me with horror, so much so that I'd invented a sudden nasty cold in order to escape from them. Are you sure you can't come? My mother had asked when I'd called early Sunday morning. Quite sure, I'd replied while holding my nose. I don't want to give this cold to Dad. I'd been on safe ground. She knew as well as I did that my father was obsessive about avoiding people with colds. Indeed, he was obsessive about lots of things. How she had put up with him for fifty-two years I couldn't imagine. 